Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about NetGas. So NetGas is coming down lower and lower. We take a look at the uh, Henry Hub Natural Gas Futures January contract. Um, it is it is highly interesting. I mean, it's coming down, down, down. Yeah, we've now hit the next FIP level at um, two dollars and fifty one. I shared with you in the last update that as long as we don't even break this trend line to the upside, the focus can be more directly on the downside. Um, it seems to me that actually one more low could happen, yeah. But up, I mean, I'm very much watching for a potential bounce here, but the trend is still down. So until we really see an initial break above that small trend line there, um, the focus is further on the downside. Next downside target is $2.36. Uh, if a bounce occurs now and stays below 341, then I count this as a wave four with one more low to come in wave five. Um, very much extended to the downside. But what I find so interesting is that obviously we've been watching for another low on the net gas chart. Yeah, eventually for a while. Okay. Um, obviously, there are a few different charts that you can look at um, with regards to NASDAQ. But overall, the primary scenario, you know, it now regardless of you know, short term fluctuations and so on. The primary scenario, as you know, if you followed this channel in 2023, has been for another low before a lasting recovery can occur. And there has been so much criticism and, you know, talks about, you know, it, you know, winter and, and prices need to go up in winter. And I mean, where are the, you know, it's, it's just, Again, what I always say, don't focus on stuff like that. You know, it doesn't until the trend really is changing and has changed. We just go with the trend and the trend was down overall. Yeah. On the net guest chart. Um, again, depending on which chart you're looking at um, on some charts, um, a, a little bit more sideways correction was likely before another dip. But the January futures show very clearly that the trend is down and that winter doesn't automatically mean that that gas prices go up okay so it's again often different than the crowd expects yeah um and um, yeah in this case the analysis so far has um yeah it was it was correct not to call a lasting low in place as i know some have done but the structure just wasn't bullish so far so the idea is still that we can go a little lower here. It's actually increasing downside momentum, which I find quite interesting. Uh, you see that actually, um, if you look at the volume here, uh, it's quite significant, an increase in volume. And also the last candle down was quite rapid. Let's take a look at the indicators as well. Here on the MACD, actually, it shows uh, negative momentum is decreasing. That has to do with the um, history, obviously, the candles that it's observing um, and how the MACD is calculated. Yeah, shows that potentially um, negative momentum is decreasing. However, there is no bullish divergence visible here at all. Okay, let's see if anything is visible on the daily. Not really. Okay, not really. Uh, maybe a tiny one, but it's not reliable. So very much oversold now on the daily um, but last time net gas was oversold didn't help it okay what happened was as you know several month long of boring boring sideways correction and that was how the net gas chart basically corrected this oversold condition not through price just over time so prices can correct over price or over time. It chose to do it over time. And because it was so oversold, this took ages. Now, I think now it's oversold again, even more oversold than it was back then. Because we're now getting closer to the end of this cycle. I mean, I've been focusing on this as a way four, as you know, right? With one more low to come in a way five primarily. And um, now that this five wave move is coming to an end, I think it is now likely that this oversold condition in the near future will be corrected over price, which means rally. Okay, so um, that's just something I want to highlight with regards to the to the Elliott wave count. 
the idea is that, yeah, if there is another rally, first of all, we're going to watch if it's corrective. If it's corrective, it should land in this region between $3.05 and $3.41 and lead to another low. But that's really now a smaller wave degree. So far, um, we've already had that one more low. Maybe we get another one on the smaller time frame here. Yeah, smaller wave degree. But um, there is a way to count this where now all lows are in place. But I need to see some kind of upside structure to suggest, you know, that really a lasting low is in. Um, but, I, you know, my view is that we're getting close to the end of this overall correction now. And um, yeah, but again, until we break even that trend line, there isn't really anything bullish that we can look at. So definitely no evidence for a low in place. Next um, support, if we break below 250, will be 236. So yeah, not much more to add. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as stocks, check out our stocks and S&P 500 service. You can find the links to those in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.